we are in Wilston Green and this is a Queensbury pub dining so this is located in northwest of London we have the Wilston Green station here there's a train station and it's quiet today because it's Sunday and most of the populations here are from you know, uh, the Muslim part so they are here and I'm not trying to be a racist here but more often you can hear a story here every afternoon someone is being stabbed someone died you know it's it's a very diverse culture here and uh, in the evening you need to be very careful when you go this part because although it's a very you know friendly area they are so friendly in the evening as well you know what i mean they get so friendly that they get into you know you, you can meet the the gangsters or someone who are hooked with drugs or anything substance and they get to be very dangerous and uh, a week ago the train station has been cordoned again and someone has been stabbed and died so you know these kids nowadays are scary you know, this place is a place of extremists I'm not trying to destroy this place but that's what I observe and uh, you know when, when you reside in this place you, you need to have your boundaries with going out okay you don't have to go out on your own you need to be with someone else of a male specifically don't go out on your own as a woman as an it just on, on, on your own you need to be with someone else and uh, you know you, you need to be sensible you have to protect yourself don't go out you know being brave on your own it's because these days nowadays you can never trust anyone they look so friendly but actually their innocence says the other otherwise and, uh, yeah. so these are all building structures as well this is how it looks like it is very nice here because all the buildings look very very the same they are all you know having uh, the same structures the same design and they're all made out of bricks because bricks here in the UK is so cheap that's why they use it for building their houses oh this is nice i like the dress that one but i'm not sure how much it is it must be expensive and this one as well oh 
it's actually a secret boutique. I hope a lot of people are buying from here because it says secret. Otherwise, if it's secret, no one will buy, isn't it? So, yeah, you, you can see a lot of um, restaurants here as well. It's very interesting place. It, the building looks very old. But you know, people here in England like to preserve old buildings. They prefer to use old, old stuff. You know, those vintage collections. They, they like collecting antiques. Old stuff here are a treasure. You know, they pay so much prices just for old uh, stuff. They don't uh, they don't care if they will have to pay for a thousand for collecting old you know furnitures jewelries or memorables or anything old you know, it, as long as that old stuff has something relevant history they don't bother paying a certain amount, a good amount and uh, this building looks looks spooky so cute <laughs> this is how old buildings look like here it's, it's one of the old uh, oldest Town in London, Golden Ring. It's still early, so you don't really see that much people. But I prefer going out when it's not really crowded because when it, it's crowded, it's really very difficult to get the. the video because people will ask you why are you taking video of me like yesterday when I was taking a video in Cricklewood a guy was like why are you taking a video of me and I was like I'm vlogging and he was he was not happy at all of me taking a video of his shop which is actually a good thing with when someone put their shop in the blog because you know other people can see it and they will get to know that you have a business isn't it it's like a free advertisement and he was so mad but anyway i told him that you know i'm showing around what's in the town so he he understands after a while um, i don't have any bad intention about showing their shops I think you just have to explain to them uh, why you're taking it why you're doing it you know it's not just taking someone's um, shop or someone's just to piss them around or you know put them something you know people here are very crazy they they get very suspicious when someone is taking a picture of them or taking a video of their shops you know so yeah that's that's what i'm trying to say when when you have to do a vlogging you have to be very careful with your contents because some people doesn't like it some people will think something negatively and it might destroy your you know your your time taking a video so you you have to think of a certain topic that will actually not cost you your reputation as a blogger or your time wasting your time with something that you have worked hard for well anyway yeah 
so shops are still closed here so maybe I'll come back here tomorrow when all the shops are open and there will be lesser talking but I'll show you around how it looks like when things are open when the shops are open but right now I'm just showing you how it looks like when it's totally quiet when it's early morning so when it's early morning you don't really see people walking around it's very quiet so this is the Wilson Green library so this is where you can get a free um, COVID test so if you suspect that you have a symptoms of COVID you can get here um, in Wilson Green library you just have to ask them where can you have it and they will guide you where you can take the COVID test any COVID test here is free you know people the government gives free testing kit so when you have a signs and symptoms you just have to send them a message or uh, here free COVID testing for people without symptoms so when you have symptoms you just have to send them a message that you wanted a covid test kit and they will send you right away to to your house the testing kit and you will do it yourself or otherwise if you don't have symptoms but you want to check yourself if you are safe traveling around because you know when you have a covid you you have a um, asymptomatic symptoms so you don't really know that you have symptoms so to make sure that everyone is safe you have to regularly test yourself that's what the, the government is um, advising here to get the people themselves tested at least twice a week so that everyone will be safe although you are walking around the, the town or in a crowded area you are safe that everyone is secure everyone is safe because you know that you are negative and yeah so you you just need to be responsible you just need to follow rules and guidelines because you know everything is free here so there's no reason for you not to get yourself tested so for the safe and security of everyone you just need to follow rules you just need to comply and cooperate and everything will be fine and yeah my bus is coming